In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, we as church celebrate the memorial of Mary, Mother of the Church. It is a relatively new memorial that was placed into the calendar by Pope Francis in 2018. And here, let us remember with great gratitude, the maternal care of Mary for all of us as believers. Coming together now as the Lord's family, let us be mindful of the mercy of God in our lives. Lord Jesus, who came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, who came in word and, strength and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness, Christ, have mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. Grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, 
and exalting in the holiness of her children, may draw to her embrace all the families of the peoples. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures on your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gracious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves, the gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glori Glorious, Glorious things, things are, are told, told of, of you, O city of, of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her. And he who, was, who established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Alleluia, alleluia. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed Mother of the Church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. From that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it on his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. Bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the body might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water 
flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The words of Jesus to his mother and Mary and to the disciple whom he loved can be very well applied to us today, to all believers. Jesus tells Mary as he looks at us, Woman, behold your child. And then he says to us, with our eyes fixed on Mary, Behold your mother. There is a saying that uh, whenever there is a joy that is shared, that joy doubles. And whenever somebody else shares in a sorrow, that sorrow is halved. So a double joy and a half sorrow. I would like to, let's say, tell two stories that may very well describe Mary as a sharer in our own personal joys, and Mary also as a sharer in our own personal sorrows and struggles, sharer in our joys and hopes, Mary as a sharer also in our griefs and anxieties. The first story is a rather typical uh, experience of a mother during graduation day when her child is there on that stage. And for that brief moment that the child is there on that stage during graduation day, there's that indescribable feeling in the heart of her mother that reflects all the years of her hard work, all the years of her companionship, all the years of her nurturance. They're captured in that moment, in that stage, kind of that pride and that sharing of the joy of her child there. I believe Mary is that same presence uh, in her life. It not, may not be an extraordinary joy, but it is always present. She shares in her own particular happinesses and joys in the everyday. The second story is uh, a, a kind of a, a memory. Uh, when I was a student, I remember um, there was a uh, kind of a friend who had an accident, uh, a road accident. And uh, when we were, when you came to knew about it, uh, I was part of a group who went to the hospital to, uh, to visit her. And there, when I arrived at the hospital with that small group, I, she was really struggling for her life. And beside her was her mother. And I remember as I was about to leave the hospital room at that time, I remember her mother uh, touched gently the forehead of her child, of her daughter, and then stroked the forehead of her daughter. And as she stroked the forehead of her daughter, her daughter took a deep breath as if absorbing all the love and all the support that that mother can give at that moment when she was struggling for her life. Just a few months later, she was back to normal. And that scene never left me that it is really that loving touch of a mother that teaches us how to trust. And this, in a way, is the sacrament also of Mary. In her life crisis, she, as it were, strokes us with her nurturance and gives us the strength to continue through her companionship. So as we celebrate this memorial of Mary, Mother of the Church, let us remember that she is a sharer, a deep sharer in our own particular joys, a deep sharer in our own particular struggles in life. The Son of God became flesh in the Immaculate Womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through her powerful intercession, may the Lord fill our hearts with divine love to understand and fulfill the precepts of Jesus, our Lord. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Mary welcomed the Son of God in her heart even before she conceived him in her womb. Lord, make our hearts similar to hers, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. With humility and courage, Mary gave her fiat to the angel Gabriel, who announced that she would bear the Son of God. Let us serve you as, our humbles, as your humble servants, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth to be of service to her. 
and to share with her the joy of salvation. Let us bring joy and help to the people we meet today. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Mary stood by Jesus' cross and was given the care of Jesus' disciple. Let us have recourse to her in grief and temptation, in joy and in pain. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. After her earthly sword sojourn, Mary was crowned queen of heaven and earth. May the dead share her happiness and glory in your kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for those celebrating their birthdays today, especially Father Kit Bautista of the Society of Jesus, Brother John Melad, SJ, Jason Brasileño, Maria Corazon Gaite Lianderal, Janet Fernandez, Norberto Roldan, Maria Teresa Hernandez, Inge del Rosario. For the healing of the following, Tony Romualdez, Linda Docdosil, Marco Kaluwag. For the repose of the souls of Preslanda Juarez, Bartilayan, Ed Milana. For the special intentions of the following, Miguel Angelo Leison, Aga Camarata, Pat Montenilo, Montinola, Lourdes Venaventura, Grace D. and family, Linda Bautista, Yvonne Peralta, Gwendolyn Llano. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan. And for all our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Jesus gave the Virgin Mary to us as our mother. From her place in heaven, may she intercede on our behalf as we submit ourselves to your divine will. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate heart, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb, and giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings of the Church. Standing beside the cross, she received the testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who, by the death of Christ, are born to heavenly life. As the apostles waited, the Holy Spirit you promised she joined in supplication and to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness 
over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God Father, and so let us now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Communion Antiphon, as he hung upon the cross, Jesus said to the disciple whom he loved, Behold your mother. Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your church may teach all nations by proclaiming the gospel and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Yeah.